this guide shows you how to download and install the latest test version of Microsoft Edge which is based on Chromium. Now I must stress do not download this to a system that uh, you are currently using for important work um, and if you do download and install it please make sure that you back up anything important and make sure you've got any disks or keys or codes or passwords to re-download any software because this is a very very early test version and it's possible it could crash your computer if you're not sure then don't download and install this at this moment it is a pre-beta version so therefore that that means that it's in its very very early testing stages and they've put it out here for people to download to test for them it comes with no guarantees it could crash your system so i just want to make this uh, clear only install this really on a system that is a test system or a system that you're really not bothered about if it does crash. Okay, so that out of the way, first of all, what we need to do is we need to open our browser, which uh, I would recommend might as well open the current Microsoft Edge installed on your computer as it comes with uh, every edition of Windows 10. Just also, just to say, this will only install on Windows 10 64-bit version. It won't install on a 32-bit version of Windows, and it won't install on Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. It's Windows 10 64-bit only. If you don't have that system, it won't install on there. Okay, so first of all, we open up Microsoft Edge. And once Microsoft Edge is open, move your mouse up to search or enter web address up here. And if there is anything else in here, in this box just up here, delete it out and type in here Microsoft Edge Insider.com. That's Microsoft Edge Insider.com, all in lowercase, no spaces. Once you've done that, press enter or return on your keyboard. Then move your mouse over, download dev channel for Windows 10 and left click once. It then comes up with the license. So uh, it's up to you whether you leave this box that says help Microsoft improve our products, products by sending info about how you use the browser and websites you want to visit. You can read the privacy statement there if you want. Obviously have a quick look through the terms just here. And then once you've done that and you're happy, move your mouse over, accept and download and left click once. Okay, so it says thank you, your download will begin shortly. Move your mouse over the word save and left click once. Okay, it's now downloading. This might take a bit of time depending on the speed of your internet connection. But in my case, it says Microsoft Edge setup.exe finish downloading. So left click on open folder. Okay, at this stage, it's probably best to close down the current version of Edge. So move your mouse over the E just down at the bottom of the screen there and click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse. Okay, and then move your mouse over close window when this menu appears and left click close window. Okay, so Microsoft Edge is now closed and then we move our mouse over Microsoft Edge setup and once again, instead of clicking the left mouse button, click the right mouse button, the button on the right hand side of the mouse. This menu will appear. Move your mouse over run as administrator and click the left mouse button. Okay, it will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Make sure that it says Microsoft Edge update. Make sure that the verified publisher is Microsoft Corporation and the file origin is hard drive on this computer. If that doesn't match, then move your mouse over no and left click once to cancel the installation. If it matches, then move your mouse over yes and left click once to continue with the installation. Okay, so it's now waiting to download. It's now downloading. Again, this may take a bit of time, just depending on the speed of your internet connection and the speed of your computer and there we go the download is done so just waiting for it to now install so it's installing again this might take a little bit of time depending on the speed of your computer and there we go it's now installed as we can see here we've got Microsoft Edge 
dev. Um, in actual fact, we can close this downloads window down now. So uh, move your mouse over the cross just in the top right hand corner of the downloads window and left click once that gets rid of that. And the Microsoft Edge development uh, version has now loaded. So uh, it says, hi, let's set up the browser with your data. Get started with your favorites, autofill data and history from Microsoft Edge. So uh, it says your browsing data will sync across all your signed in devices using Microsoft Edge Insider Builds. So it says customize important sync. So um, let's just click on that down there, see what happens here. So it says uh, choose a browser so to, to import from. So uh, let's click that, see what we've got. So any browsers that we've got installed on the system will be listed here and we can select the browser that uh, you want to import the uh, the favorites or the bookmarks from into uh, the developers edition of Microsoft Edge. So uh, I haven't got anything to import, but let's just give it a go on Microsoft Edge. So uh, you can select here whether you want favorites, safe passwords, autofill data or browsing history. And uh, you can also click here um, to enable sync, although that is blocked out at the moment. So I guess that's not available in this early version, but it's something that will come about later on. So, okay, let's just click confirm there. And uh, then it says, uh, choose a look for new tabs, inspirational, informational, or focus. So there are the different uh, previews there of, of what we can uh, expect if we, uh, if we choose one of these. So I'll just leave it on inspirational and move the mouse over done and left click done. And uh, there we go, uh, Microsoft Edge has now opened. So uh, as I say, this is a very, very early test version of Microsoft Edge, Chromium version. So websites might not work, like I say, it may crash your system. So uh, be gentle with it. Don't expect too much from it at this early stage. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, just see if I can download a, uh, a Chrome add-on, which uh, is something that I know a lot of people have been waiting for. So let's just search for Adblock Plus. There we go, Adblock Plus. Let's just click, got it there. Get Adblock Plus for Chrome. Let's left click that there. So far, so good. So uh, it says it's not given us the option here to, uh, to download, but it says up here, there, you can now add extensions from the Chrome Web Store to Microsoft Edge. Allow extensions from other stores. So let's just click that. Allow extension from other stores. Extensions installed from sources other than Microsoft Store are unverified and may affect browser performance for Microsoft, ver Microsoft verified extensions visit the Microsoft Store. So let's move our mouse over allow and left click once. You can now add extensions from the Chrome Web Store to Microsoft Edge. So yeah, okay, so here we go. We've got the add to Chrome button now appeared. So let's, let's left click that. And it says add Adblock Plus free ad blocker to Microsoft Edge. So move a mouse over its add extension and left click once. And uh, let's see if that downloads. Yes, it's downloading at the bottom there. And yes, there you go. It's now been added, installation successful. So yes, you can install Chrome add-ons to the new Microsoft Edge Chromium developer version. Let's just have a look at the menus here. So I'll click on the three dots. So we've got new tab, new window, new private window. We've got the zoom there. You've got favorites here, history, downloads, apps, extensions, print, find on page, read aloud, more tools there, settings. Let's just go into the settings there and have a look at this. So there we go. So we've got profiles here. So you can, looks like you can sign in with different profiles. You can change the appearance, choose a way, what happens when you start the computer up, privacy and services, site permissions, downloads. You can change the location of the download folder and ask where to save before downloading. Languages, you can add languages. Um, manage printers, system, and reset settings if it all goes wrong. And there's about Microsoft Edge. So there we go, that's the Microsoft Edge developer edition. So I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click three dots here and go to downloads here and let's move a mouse over open downloads folder here because thinking about it really I can delete this Microsoft Edge setup now the setup file. So I'll move my mouse over Microsoft Edge setup, 
click the right mouse button, button on the right hand side of the mouse, this, this menu will then appear, then move your mouse down to delete and click the left mouse button. And there you go, the installation file is now done, downloaded. We no longer need that as that's now installed. So we can move our mouse over the cross just up here in the top right hand corner of the downloads folder, left click once to close it and move our mouse over the cross next to downloads tab there and left click once to close that as well. If we wanna close uh, uh, edge then we can move our mouse over the cross just there and left click once and that closes it. And it looks like we've also still retained the original version of Microsoft Edge, yes that we have. So the developer version that we downloaded has installed in addition to the original version of Microsoft Edge. So if you're feeling uh, like you want to download it, like I say it is a test version, could muck up your system, please be aware of that. So don't install it on any production systems or anything that's important, any systems that are important and make sure that you back up anything important before you download it. Because if it all goes wrong, don't blame me. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope this guide helps. Don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.